Welcome to the Boa Clued Guide. In this video I will go over the main areas and I will tell you what you can get from them. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more guides make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize please join my discord and contact me there at discord.gg slash ldg. Today we're going through another one which is a shiny vintage Yushanka. To win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Make sure to check out the 5 mythical giveaway July edition. I am pleased to introduce today's sponsor Pine Hosting. Are you interested in setting up your own unturned server? Then look no further than Pine Hosting. They offer a variety of game servers including Rust, Ark, Valheim and Minecraft. Creating your server only takes a few minutes with Pine Hosting's quick setup process, global server locations, affordable pricing and built-in workshop and plugin installer. If you're interested in taking advantage of this opportunity, use the code LDG for a generous 30% discount. The link can be found in the description below and let's dive straight into the video. In Buak, there are four towns. In these four towns, they are mainly the same loot, except that some of them do have different shops, which obviously can help you with certain items. For example, in Tree Town, there are only houses, there is literally no shops, making it the worst town. Cherry Cape only has a school and a waffle house, other than that, it's just full of houses as well. Next one is Pine Point. In Pine Point, there are some houses. And a bunch of shops including a hardware store, a botanist, clothes shop, fire station, police station and a gas station. As for the final town, Berrywood, which in my opinion is the best town, there are a bunch of houses, a police station, hardware, pharmacy, library, cinema, clothes shop and a post office. All four of these towns do have big men lockers in them from where you can get high tier loot including gas masks, filters, blueprints, research kits, pristine gun parts and much much more. I'm going to tell you what you can get from all of these four towns. Obviously you can get clothes, food, Water, bones, earpieces, walkie talkies, steely wheelie automobiles, moldy food, nuts and bolts, nails, bleach, batteries, paper, blueprints, paint thinner, flashlight, duct tapes, electrical components, electrical wires, brochure parts, rags, jimmy rifle, bandage, vitamins, painkillers, antibiotics, cough syrup, purification tablets, vaccine, hammer, tarp, blowtorch, knife sharpener, axes, pickaxes, sledgehammers, flashlights, hacksaw, glow sticks, rope, car parts, socket wrench, car jack, entrenching tool, can opener, juicer, umbrella, melee weapons, oak bear, moss turkey, warden, swift magazines, slug, shells, backpacks, waffles and cots. Next we're going to go all the way over to the dead zone. The dead zone has three levels, the first one being pretty good loot and the second one being the best loot. As for the third one, you can't really get anything. We're going to go over level one and two. As for level 1, from outside there are a bunch of car parts from where you can find a bunch of good items including car parts, gas mask, oxygen mask, oxygen tank, rucksacks, food, tools, glow sticks, torches, hacksaws and much more. Inside the level 1 dead zone you can get biohazard top, biohazard bottom, blueprints, gas masks and the shadow zombies can drop normal ammunition, explosive ammunition and weapons. As for dead zone level 2 which is the best loot that you can get on the map, you can get biohazard top, biohazard bottoms, gas masks, ammunition, explosive ammunition, ammo boxes, attachments, night trader, zubeknikov, master key, eagle fire, typewriter, cobra python, warden, avenger, ogbear, timberwolf, riot helmet, riot vest and slugs. Obviously you can get all of the magazines for all of the guns that I have mentioned, for example night trader magazine and zubeknikov of magazine. Next we're going to go over to the mines. The mines plays a huge role in the survival of Boak when it comes to getting materials to progress your base and the quest line as well. In here you can get a miner's pickaxe, oxygen tank, oxygen mask, headlamp, iron, sulfur, gold, titanium, nickel, copper, silver, geode, pyromorphite, diamond, zinc, pyrite, coal, rocks, hard head, glow sticks, dynamite, bottled air and flashlights. Next we're going to go over to the airdrops. The airdrops happen quite rarely but when one does show up I recommend that you go get it because it can contain really really good items. In an airdrop you can get research kits, weapons, hunting arrows, ammunition, filters, gas masks, oxygen masks, oxygen tanks, blueprint, medication, sealed food, generators, sentry gun, sentry magazine, grizzly, grizzly magazine, blood bag, bear trap, pristine fishing rod, binoculars and gun parts. Next we're going to go over to the only farm location in Boak called Milland Farm. In Milland Farm you can get crossbows, hunting bows, hunting arrows, seeds, wardens, oak bears, master keys, ammunition for all of the guns that I have mentioned, food, water, clothes, axes, melee weapons, paper, meds, nails, nuts and bolts, dye, 
electrical wires and electrical components. Next we're going to go over to the lumber yard. The lumber yard is mostly a location which is a construction area but you can also get some civilian items. In here you can find earpieces, car parts, blueprints which are very frequent, tools, food, water, melee weapons, tarp, blueprints, clothes, batteries, sealed food and hacksaw. Next we're going to go to the scrapyard which is actually a really good location. From here you can get the vehicle manual blueprint, car parts, gas masks, oxygen tanks, food, water, clothes, melee weapons, tools, scrap metal, gas cans, nails, nuts and bolts, blowtorch, scrap metal, socket and trench and in the middle of the scrapyard there's a washing machine which can drop dead zone loot, can drop guns, ammunition and attachments ranging all the way from Night Raider to Maastricht. Next we're going to go to St. Ellie Harbor which is another construction loot area. From here you can get food, water, clothes, tools, hexos, polymer, traffic cones, flashlight, socket trench, gas cans, car parts, bleach, binoculars, knife sharpener, meds, paper, blueprints, earpiece, electrical components and electrical wires. The final locations we're going to discuss about are the campgrounds. There are two campgrounds which gives you low tier survival loot. These two campgrounds can give you bedrolls, food, water, hunting bows, hunting arrows, melee weapons, axes, makeshift splints, oak bears, swift magazines, knives and moldy food. Now I didn't go over all of the locations, there are still a bunch of unmarked areas which you can go get to explore but most of them they are just normal civilian loot. They do not have anything in particularly special. For example the airplane crash and the underwater landmark as well. If you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below and we'll try to answer them as much as possible and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!